Mm. <laughs> anyway, thankfully we're live on Facebook. So the Lord will equip you. I pray that the Lord will equip you with strategies for handling conflict. May give you the wisdom of Solomon in handling disputes. And that's someone I'm going to also focus on in the Sundays with Zemi when we talk about these godly um, conflicts, I mean, biblical conflicts. I pray that you have self-control. So Proverbs 16, verse 32, you can read it on your own time, but I think I have it here. Better a patient person than a warrior, one with self-control than one who takes a city. Better a patient person than a warrior, one with self-control than one who takes a city. I pray that you have a softened heart. And this is something I prayed often in my um, early walk with Christ and I need to bring these friends back. And it's having a heart of flesh, having a heart of flesh. In Ezekiel, it was said twice that I'll put a new spirit in you and I'll replace your heart of stone with the heart of flesh. And the heart of stone really is, you know, a stubborn heart where the you know, things that you've gone through have caused you to be hardened, where you may act out of your bitterness or trauma versus being like, you know, spirit led and stuff like that. And so God can't do much with a hardened heart. In fact, he, he doesn't even bother to make them soft. He replaces them, right? With the heart of flesh. So that was my prayer for a long time. Lord, please replace my heart of stone with the heart of flesh. Something that you could mold, right? It's hard to mold stone. You could chip away at it, but a heart of flesh is, is what we should desire. Then wisdom in matters of communication. A good verse to really cling to in your Christian walk is James 1 verse 19, which is the be slow, be quick to listen, quick to listen, slow to speak and slow to become angry. Quick to listen, slow to speak and slow to become angry angry so really think about what it is that you intend to say and I think Abigail had a chance to do that because she had she had to walk to where um he was or, or journey even by horseback to where David was so in that time when she's journeying she's thinking about okay what am I going to say what am I going to say what am I going to say she had time to process her thoughts oftentimes because we live in this era where I could just like pick up my phone and -da 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 -da. we're not thinking I could just pick up my phone and, and I could send you a voice. I don't even have to engage with you. I could send you a voice note and blast you, put my phone down or even block you. And that's it. We're not really thinking about the messaging that we have because it's so easy to reach someone. There's no thought process in between. I'm not walking to you and gathering my thoughts. I'm just blasting. And so it's important that we really take a time to process um, our thoughts. So I'm going to go into prayer. Yes, it's okay. We don't have a recording. <laughs> um, because I have notes. I mean, I have the blog posts at the very least, and I'll see how I can get the Facebook recording, but that is okay. Um, if you do a prayer request, you can drop them at 7:34. So um, I think I'll aim to end by 8 8:15, just to be mindful of individuals. Okay, so Lord, I thank you for this time of fellowship. I thank you, O oh Lord, for your daughters and your sons who have gathered here today. I thank you that this word will be edifying, that this is something that we can chew on for the rest of the day, for the rest of the month, that you will continue to come after me, dear Heavenly Father, and continue to plant seeds, seeds of remembrance, that you'll call to mind conflicts where we could have handled the situation differently, that you'll call to mind situations and individuals where we need to go and mend the situations where we've left things to fester for too long. I pray that even um, people who we have wronged, dear Heavenly Father, where they have come to us with a blessing and we instead hurled out insults at them when they came just asking for a little out of our plenty, but we can't, but we shun them away. I pray that you will bring those individuals to memory now to Heavenly Father, that we will give them what was their just, their just gift, their just reward for their service that they did to us. I pray that we always seek out opportunities to give, seek out opportunities to give a kind word, give out of our plenty, give of our services, give of our time. I pray that you would continue to anoint us afresh, that you would replace our heart of stone with the heart of flesh. We pray for these lips to Heavenly Father and pray for these tongues. Your word says that the tongue is so evil. Who can tame this tongue? 
out of the same mouth flow praises and blessings, dear Lord. And we pray that we will not be double-sided in our tongues, that we will not have our tongues split like a serpent, the Heavenly Father, speaking both blessings and cursings from the same mouth. But instead, we will be single-tongued, the Heavenly Father, that our tongues will spring forth blessing, that we will bring forth good news. Your word said, blessed are the feet of them who bring good news. I pray that we will be women and men of God who bring good news, who give, who greet individuals with a blessing. When we say good morning, we literally mean to them good morning. When we say good day, we mean for you to have a good day. Don't drop the good off of your good morning, your good night, your good afternoon. Keep, keep giving that blessing. Keep blessing as you enter spaces. Keep blessing as you enter spaces. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We pray for our air gates and, the, and our eye gates and how we may be influenced to move away from the things that you would like us to do, dear God. That we, how we may be influenced by the world in our dealings with people and our handling of conflict. Where we see reality TV and we see how they go head to head and we all of a sudden are going head to head in our relationships. So Heavenly Father, I pray that you would guide, guide us in what it is that we hear, what it is that we listen to, dear Heavenly Father that we will be women who respond in, in a godly way with wisdom and not by the world standards. That yes, psychology offers so many solutions for conflict and there's an abundance of research in how to handle conflict, but even beyond that, that we seek your hand and your wisdom in all things and above all things. I pray for our hearts, Heavenly Father. I pray that our hearts will be hearts of flesh, and not hearts of stone. I pray that you'll be able to reach us. I pray against us being so stubborn and so prideful and so selfish in our dealings with individuals, but instead that you will place a new spirit in us, your Holy Spirit in us, hallelujah. That you will replace our heart of stone with the heart of flesh. I pray against our, um, our flesh desires to be disrespectful women, to be disrespectful in conflict, to hit men on the side of the head, to hit our children for no reason in a disrespectful manner, to address our husbands, I mean, our children as foolish. To, I, I pray against every way that we are disrespectful in conflict, where we try to push people, slap people, talk down to people, insult people, punch them with our words, cut our eyes at people, suck our teeth at people, slam doors at people, hang up the phone on people. I pray against every disrespectful manner that we handle conflict in the name of Jesus. I pray that we will be respectful women. We will be respectful women. I am a respectful woman and take on that cloak today. I am a respectful woman in Christ Jesus. I am respectful in Christ Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord. I thank you that we will be women of valor that we will be the women who are declared to be worth more than rubies. That we will rise up a new generation, a new generation outside of trauma, a new generation of, of women and men. We thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you that you give us strength on this day to fast today. We pray over our speaker tonight. We pray that she will have a restful day and as she comes before us, that it will be just what we need. It will be the finishing touches that we need on this message. It will be the finishing touches that we need to get us through this weekend. I pray for all mothers, dear Lord, and soon to be mothers, mothers of any kind. I pray for um, mothers as they, as they experience Mother's Day this weekend. I pray that they will enjoy every single moment of this weekend. And I know I say this often, I know it is sometimes like you, you feel so blessed, but then you think about people who don't have what you have. Do not taint your blessing by sitting in, someone doesn't have this, someone doesn't have that. Instead, enjoy the blessing that you have. I pray for those who are experiencing their first Mother's Day without their mother. I pray for those who may be dreading Mother's Day for that very reason. Lord, I pray that you will minister to them and nurse their hurts, that you show them the joy in this day, that they're able to um, experience joy on this day despite what they may be feeling, that you replace their dread with peace, 
that you allow them to celebrate the legacy of their mother and to also enjoy being celebrated as a mother. I pray for women who recently lost children through miscarriage or premature death. I pray for women who may be going through Mother's Day for the first time without any of their kids alive. I pray, Lord, that you would nurse their wounds, that you would send ministering angels unto them. I pray for women believing for the promise to be a mother. And I pray that they will know and rest in the fact that that promise is secure. And what you have said will come to pass in the name of Jesus. I thank you that we are all mothers in some way, that we all nurture. I thank you for that blessing of nurturing. And if anyone is desiring to be more nurturing, I pray that you would meet that woman's desire. We thank you, dear God, that you are so good. You are so faithful. You are so loving. Let me give you all honor, all honor, all glory, and all praise. Amen. Amen. Okay, and so I want to do something a little different today. We have people on Facebook who always hide from me. So I'm going to go to Facebook. Okay. I see. I'm going to write down the names I see on Facebook. I'm going to pray for these people today. Dania is on Facebook. Nicole. Charmaine. Grandia. Okay. And I, I see LaVon and I saw Catherine earlier. And if anyone in the Zoom has a prayer request, prayer request oh, Aaron, I didn't even see if he's on. If anyone on Zoom has a prayer request, please let me know. Hallelujah. Lord, we cover your daughter, Dania. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you would bless her in every way, on every side, dear Lord. I pray that you will go deep, deep, deep into her soul. In the places no friend, no man, no parent, no therapist has ever been able to reach. And I pray that all of the goodness and all of the gold that is sitting there in the center of her soul, that you would allow that to permeate through her entire body that it will diffuse throughout her entire body, that she will be full of light and compassion in every single way. All of the good in her will dispel all of the darkness that has tried to overcome her. I pray that her soul is secured in Christ Jesus, the Heavenly Father. And every single wave of grief, every single wave of depression, every single wave of anxiety will meet a wall and it will come against you, oh God, the warrior who is defending her and protecting her. And I see uh, almost like an angel guarding you, Daniel. And so I pray that you will be guarded, that you will feel guarded against the attacks of the enemy. And when these things come, then they try to rise up against you, that you know that you are being guarded every single step of the way. I thank you, Lord, that you have sent angels unto her to protect her, that you have secured her mind in you. I pray that she will continue to feel you and be, and you will continue to nurse her wounds. I pray over her hands, Heavenly Father, that you will keep her from any, any um, disability of the hands, carpal tunnel, arthritis, that you will keep her hands secure in you, Heavenly Father, that she will be free of all sickness and disease, that she will not have pain in her hands for the work that you have called her forth to do. I pray, oh Lord, Lord, even over her, her arm muscles, the Heavenly Father, that she will not have pain for the work that you are calling her to do. And I pray that she will be swift in doing that work. 
that wherever, whatever page you have told her to turn, that she will turn that page. Whatever client she's to take on, she will take on that client. Whoever she's not to take on, she will not take on that client. I pray that she will be spirit led in every single aspect of her business. And when it's time to write the books that she is, she is to write, I pray that you give her, um, um, the words, Heavenly Father, and I pray that she's able to be swift in um, from concept to production to development, that her book writing process will be swift, that they will not be full of any form of frustration. Amen. LaDonia has a prayer request on Facebook for family conflict after the murder of husband's uncle last week. They're hurting so bad, she mentioned. Okay. I don't know if this window is full. Oh. It's so loud. Okay, so I read that again. Lasagna has a prayer request. Mar, you raise your hand. Good day, Auntie Zemi. Can you please can you please pray for my exams that are this month and that I know how to um solve conflict in high school? That's Talia? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I will pray for you, Talia. Look at that, the babies are listening all. Isn't that sweet? Talia, exam, high school. I saw, I'm just writing down some prayer requests. I saw LaDonia. Okay, so I have a prayer request here for guidance regarding a relationship. And so, Lord, I pray that you would make the path very plain for her, um, that you would allow her to just have a clear and distinct answer of what should happen in this relationship, whether she should stay or go or pro proceed in developing this relationship to Heavenly Father. I pray that she would measure this relationship against you, against your word, against the fruit of the Spirit, and to ensure that. Everything that should be there is there and everything that is lacking, oh God, that would be a clear sign. I pray that you eliminate all confusion where her voice will rise up. She has decided to consult you and um, consider your, your heart in the matter to Heavenly Father. So I pray that you would swiftly answer and not just answer her, but confirm the answer in your name. I pray, amen. So I'll pray with you directly so that I can call your name um, after this. So to Leah. Lord, we pray for Talia. I thank you for her boldness today to come up and to say, I need a prayer. I pray that you will give her um, safe, safe travels as she goes to school today. I pray that she will excel on her examinations, that you call everything to memory, that you allow her to be able to swiftly recall all it is that she, all it is that she would have studied. I pray for guidance as she um, navigates high school and forming relationships and um, building friendships. I pray that you teach her how to handle any conflict that may arise with her, with her teachers, with the principal, with fellow classmates, as she goes into positions of leadership within her school. I pray that you will continue to give her wisdom and every good thing, that she has a heart that will serve you, that she will speak good things unto her classmates, that she will declare blessings over her classmates, whether they hear it or not, know it or not, but that she will be a, a student who prays for the people around her. And to Leah, it's important that you pray over the people in your class, and you can pray without season, ceasing all through the day. When you see matters arise in class, you pray. You pray in your head. You don't have to pray out loud. Lord, please cover them. Lord, please bless them. This person looks hungry today. Lord, please meet their need. If you have a, an abundance and you have consulted with your parents and you know what is okay for you to do and not, not to, then you can follow the voice of the Lord in how you would, you would give out of the abundance that you have. But please consult your parents about that. Um, but we pray God's blessings over you. And for Lasagna, Lord, I pray for Lasagna and her husband as they, you know, just would have celebrated an anniversary. And then they have this huge tragedy just mount upon them at this time. I pray for those who may be mourning at this time in their family, those who are confused, those who want justice, those who are intently angry and frustrated and, and just enraged 
by what they are experiencing and the lack of support that they may be getting from, from law enforcement or even people who they expect to, to give them an encouraging word who are instead just so mean. And so Lord, we pray for this family at this time that you will bind them together with cords that cannot be broken, that this con conflict will draw them together as a family, that you will nurse their wounds and that you'll continue to minister them and that justice will be swift, that no one will decide to take justice into their own hands, but instead they leave it to the Lord because eventually vengeance, O oh Lord, is yours. We pray, O oh God, that you will bless this family, bless and not curse this family, that there will be no more premature deaths, that every single male seed in this family and even female seed will choose life, that they will choose a life, that they will choose life. And we pray blessings and protection over this family in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Um, check in the Facebook group. Amen. Hanging into Brandia. So Lord, we pray. Pray for a softened heart and strategic conflict resolution when dealing with Father. Okay, for the for everyone who is in a situation where they have to handle um, communication with someone they you know, may be, not be dealing with, they may be estranged from, uh, a child's father, any contentious relationship where you have to communicate with that person. Uh, maybe it's a sibling, um, whoever it may be, but the relationship is contentious, contentious in any form, but communication must take, take place. Lord, I pray for a strategy in communicating with them. I pray for peace to flow like a river between the two parties. I pray that it will soften the heart of each individual and that it will be easy to communicate. Anyone co-parenting, I pray that co-parenting will be easy for you. Hallelujah. I pray that co-parenting will be easy for you. For anyone who has been crying out over co-parenting and they want a different relationship with their baby's father, they want a different relationship with the, with the stepmother, for everyone who has been crying out in situations like, like that, I pray that God will meet your need and that the situation will change and transform and just continue in prayer in that area. Continue in prayer and know that God has heard the desires of your heart, that you want a peaceful, loving relationship with the, the family that you co-parent with. And not just the, the husband, but like the whole family where you just want to be accepted and loved by this family, I pray that that situation will change and their hearts will be softened and that it will be easy going forward to co-parent with these individuals. Amen. Um, Lord, we pray for your daughter, Berdia. I pray, family Father, over her and her family. I pray that you will continue to keep them secure on every side. We pray against sickness. We pray for what, whatever it is that she's experiencing um, nervousness for in her chest. Heavenly Father, we pray against anxiety um, for every upcoming situation where she feels like she's not capable, where she feels inequipped, dear God. I pray that you will, you will to tell her that she is equipped for what she is going into, oh God. Whatever room she sits into, whoever she sits before, I pray, oh God, that she knows that she is the woman for the job, that she knows that she is fully equipped and able to do it, that she is able to step into those rooms, that she, is, she will be fully confident and equipped and, and competent for what it is and the path that you've laid before her. I pray that you bless her with, with just additional wisdom, additional strength, additional comprehension in the areas and in the fields that she has desired to, to enter into. I pray for influence. I pray that you safeguard her reputation. I pray that you go before her to tell people about her and allow positive words to be spoken over her and that you go behind her as well to allow anything that would have, how they would, how she would have interacted with them to smooth over the reputation. If they saw this and interpreted that, that your Holy Spirit will tell them, no, no, that's not the correct interpretation. She really is a woman after my own heart. She really is a woman I can trust. So I pray to Heavenly Father that you'll go before her and secure her reputation and go behind her and secure her reputation as well. These things we ask in your name. In the name of your son, Jesus Christ, amen. Lord, we pray for your daughter, Catherine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
We pray for your daughter, Catherine. I thank you, Lord, that she continuously for years has poured out over women and men over generations for years, dear God. I pray that as she continues this race and as she continues to walk before you, that she will not grow weary and well-doing. That she will not grow weary in her well-doing. That you allow her to mount up, oh God. That she will not feel the pangs, the, the pains and the pangs of aging, the Heavenly Father, but that she will keep her youth secured in you. That she will keep her joints secured in you. That you will affirm her back in you, the Heavenly Father. That you will just strengthen her for the journey ahead that you will give her the grace that she needs. And, and even in the situation that she finds herself in presently, the Heavenly Father, I pray that you will minister to her even in this place, dear God. And if she feels she may be too deep in something that you help her to find a way out or that you strengthen her for this season, dear Heavenly Father. I see like a, a briefcase being open. And so Lord, I, I don't know what that means, but Heavenly Father, I pray for whatever it is that you're about to expose, whatever um, papers are here, whatever it is that you you have stored away. Um, I don't know. Hallelujah, Lord. And I see papers falling into a briefcase. So, Lord, I pray that you will allow this, the meaning of this, to be known to her, the Heavenly Father. Um, whatever papers it is, or, or case documents she's been collecting, um, that you allow her to have the support that she needs in that, dear God. I thank you. I thank you that you are strengthening her in this time. I think, and I pray against plagiarism for you, Catherine. I pray against the people who are gonna use your words and their own materials. I saw the, the briefcase closed and someone walked away with the papers. And so I pray against plagiarism, people who are gonna steal your ideas. This is so wrong. I pray against people who, who would have used the things that you've said and written um, into their own books, into their own courses, for their own materials who have not given you any credit. So we pray against that in the name of Jesus. Their reward for that is already on them. They're already, their reward for that is already on them. Their penalty for that is already on them. But I pray that he will strengthen you when you feel that people copy you, when you feel plagiarized, when you feel um, just downcast because because that has been happening and you know it's been happening. I pray for encouragement for you and know that you, you have a vindicator working on your behalf. You have a great lawyer, the great advocate of Jesus Christ working on your behalf and nothing that was stolen from you, nothing will be that was stolen from you, you'll be lacking of it. Nothing that was stolen of you, you'll be lacking of it. Nothing that was stolen of you will you feel the lack because of it because so much is in you and nobody can do it like you. The mere fact that your name is on it means something entirely different to people. Your name being on it versus my name being on it means something entirely different to people and no one can steal anything from you. So I pray for you now as you feel like people have copied you and they have copied you or they're in the process of copying you and they're writing books with things that you have said. And so we, we, pray, we pray against that. Um, and I pray if that person is listening and if, if any of those people ever see this to know do not steal anybody's ideas. Don't put anybody's quote in your book without giving them rightful credit, okay? Um, dear Lord, we, bring, we pray for your daughter, LaVon. I pray, Lord, that you would guide her footsteps. Um, I thank you for all of the doors that you've been opening for her children. And Lord, still in the areas where she feels sad for what's taking place in her life, the areas where she feels that you haven't touched yet to Heavenly Father, I pray that you will show her that you are in the process of God and she will touch every area of her life, that no single dead bone that she has seen 
will be continue to be a dead bone that she will put flesh on every single bone that and that she is that she deems to be dead that no area of her life will not be touched by you i thank you for what you have done thus far and i pray that you'll continue to encourage her that no single area of her life that looks dead today will remain dead i thank you oh god that your promise for her is secure we give you all glory and all honor and all praise to god amen amen thanks charmaine but i thank you for charmaine i thank you that she is a connector I thank you, oh God, that she has a heart that seeks to serve you. I thank you that how she ministers to people on a private level, oh God. I thank you that she is a nurse in so many senses of the word and that she nurses the soul and not just the body. I pray, Lord, that you will remove anything from her that is not of you. Remove the, the pill of bitterness that has been swallowed because of what, what has happened in her life, oh God. Remove any residue of trauma, any residue of the pain of what is taking place in her life, oh God. Allow it all to be expelled from her, that she will walk forward pure of heart, pure of mind, dear God. That you will completely heal and transform her in every sense of the word. That she will be freed, freed from that pain, dear God. I thank you for the lessons learned. I thank you for how it has pushed her into ministry, how those conflicts that she experienced in her life drew her closer to her husband and knit them together in ways that they will be knit together for the rest of their lives. And now we pray, oh God, that you would eliminate the residue of the circumstance, that you would eliminate the residue of the circumstance, that she'll walk forward in freedom. Amen. Amen. Um, Nicole, just check Facebook. <laughs> See, someone said I came on Facebook to hide and still got caught. I know people always hide from me on Facebook. People always hiding. And I thank you for your daughter, Nicole. Hallelujah. Nicole is like, you have a lot on your chest. And you, it's like almost like you don't have enough avenues to get it out to speak. And so I pray that God will give you um, access to many more avenues to get out what it is that he has placed on your heart. I pray um, for more speaking engagements, more um, God sent speaking engagements, um, podcasts, um, just more avenues for you to speak out and get what it is that's off your chest out of your chest. I thank the Lord for what he has deposited in you and how he continues to give you words, um, you know, continue to, to write them down in, in notes. And even if you don't share all of them, that you continue to write them down and study them and elaborate on them. And I pray that he will send you um, help and support to help you manage um, the speaking engagements. Um, you know, your daughter may be able to have a nice summer job helping you as your assistant. And so I thank the Lord for provision for your family and for the doors that he's opening and the opportunities that he has afforded you to be able to speak, um, to be able to get these things out. Um, and where you think that I don't have, it's like you feel like I need, I need more than one mouth. Um, and so... I just pray that the Lord will help you to get the message out, that he would deposit these words on other women as well. So you don't have that righteous burden alone of I need to be to get this out. But you also anything that he, things that he even um, you thought to say and you didn't really know how to fully articulate it, that other women in your circle as well begin to speak these words so that the burden is off of you. And I pray that you continue to connect with with women and men who who feel this this um righteous desire this holy desire to 
to preach the word of God and to teach the word of God and to teach that says the Lord and to give um, sound teaching. I pray for um, those who are teachers of consumers of meat. Um, and you know, when I mean meat, I mean like the solid food uh, of, of the word of God and that deeper understanding of the word. And I pray that you would latch on to, to more people like that who, who teach to meat eaters. Um, because there is a burden when you feel as if people aren't understanding when they are milk milk drinkers and that is your only audience and, and you need to go deeper and you need um, fellow meat teachers or teachers of consumers of meat. Um, and I pray that, you know, those people will come along and you develop a collective and you and you speak with, with one voice. Um, I pray that anyone desiring community, that God would send you community. Um, anyone who has this burden to preach and to teach that, you know, you consult the Lord and the strategy and the methods and that you begin to open up your mouth, because if you don't open up your mouth and speak, you leave others with this burden. They can't get all of the words out that God has given them um, in, a, in a timely fashion. And so if God has led you to speak, open your mouth, you're releasing burdens for people because the word of the Lord has to get out. The word of the Lord has to get out. And if he's called you to speak, if he's called you to teach, you do that, you, you make posts, you go live, you record videos, you write books, whatever it is. But if you don't speak, you are leaving a burden on others who got that same word and other words that they need to speak. But now they have to speak on your behalf as well. So please, if you feel led to preach, teach the word of the Lord, please open up your mouth. Do not be afraid. It is time to speak, thus says the Lord, and get the word out that he has put on your lips. Amen. Amen. Um, Tiffany, and I have couple more minutes. If anyone is on Zoom and you want me to pray for you, let me know. Um, so Lord, I pray for your daughter, Tiffany. I pray that you continue to send her staff who are after your own heart, Lord. People that she can put her trust in, people that she can relax. Um, if they allow her to relax, I pray that she can step further and further away from the day-to-day -day management of the business and that you would allow her to enter a place of rest, a place of heavenly rest and strategy. I pray that you continue to deposit into her business strategies, Lord, for expansion into different areas. You have placed so many ideas in this woman's heart and it is almost a burden to have a successful business and you can't be able to pursue the other things that you really want to do. And so Lord, I pray for her as she deals with this internal conflict of wanting to do so much and give so much to the world, but you gave her something that just did so well. And now it's hard to turn to focus on other things. So I pray that you allow her to find help, um, have people that are just like her in a sense that she's cloned in a sense where they have the maturity, the wisdom um, that they are trust, that they are trustworthy Heavenly Father, that they are smart and intelligent and she can trust them in areas where that would allow her to have the capacity to do other things that she desires to do. I pray that you would continue to, to give her um, just good rest at home so that she is able to face each day and be productive each day. I pray that if it's her desire to rise earlier, though God, that you help her in that area. I pray that her grandchildren continue to just be healthy and excel. And so that's one less burden that she would have as a grandmother, that her daughter continues to excel in every area of her life, that her daughter comes into um, the full being of everything that you had, had called her to be when she was in the womb. There was so much that you declared over her, oh God, and I pray that she will walk into that. And that will be one less burden off of this woman that she can go and do other things to Heavenly Father. I pray that you continue to bless her marriage on every single side, that it will be so fruitful and beautiful, and that it will be an example to so many of a testament of your goodness. I pray, Heavenly Father, as we go into hurricane season, I pray that she would have no fears and no worries, that she will be taken care of to Heavenly Father, that she will be protected, that she will not lack anything. And where they may be short for one month, that you will go double and triple throughout the other months, even slow months to Heavenly Father and you will continue to blow her mind of your faithfulness to her. I pray that she knows that she is remembered by you, that she is remembered by you. I pray, oh God, that you will strengthen her, oh God, 
remove every single pain from her body and where the enemy may be trying to slow her down, that instead, oh God, you heal her in every single way that she can move faster than she moved in her 20s, move faster than she moved in her 30s, dear God, because you are healing her body, that you are sending her to the specialist that she needs, that no weapon formed against her shall prosper to Heavenly Father, that infirmity will not be able to reign in her body, oh God, infirmity will not be able to reign in her body, that you will keep her healthy to Heavenly Father, that you will turn her lips and her mouth away from things that she should no longer be eating and she will have a desire and the energy to exercise the heavenly father that you will guide her to healthy habits dear lord i thank you in this dear heavenly father i thank you in this and if anyone feels led throughout the day please pray um please pray for her as well in the area where she is being attacked um health wise to slow her down from the things that she really really needs to do while she's on this earth amen amen i don't see any on zoom y'all hiding from me too today anyone on facebook anyone else on facebook wants prayer you can raise your hand on zoom DeAndrea, can you hear me? Can you speak? Yes. You have a prayer request today. No, not 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 really. You sure? You still home? Are you still home? Are you still in bed? Yes, I am home. I just got back in bed. Okay. Um, so I will pray for you regardless. Okay. Um, Lord, we pray over your daughter, Deandra. You have children? I feel nauseous. No. You don't have children. Do you want children? Yes. Okay. So, Lord, we pray over her womb, dear Lord. I pray over her reproductive system. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray for her womb to Heavenly Father. I pray against any blockages. I pray against any cysts to Heavenly Father, any fibroids, anything physical that is impeding her ability to conceive, dear God. I pray against sickness, dear Lord, and this um, nausea. I pray against food sensitivities that she may have, dear God. I pray for regulation in her body and even in her bloodstream, the Heavenly Father, that as blood throws, flows through her body, that it does what it is designed to do, that it removes the impurities, takes away things that it needs to take away, uh, the toxins and everything that needs to be removed. I pray that that process is fully regulated in her body. I pray, Lord, that when she is pregnant, that she will not be debilitated by morning sickness. I pray for her energy levels and her hormone levels, dear God, that she is able to be more productive in her day-to-day -day life, dear God. I pray for her food choices, oh God, and that she will start to take note of anything that upsets you, like food-wise, your food sensitivities, and no matter how much you love it, it's time to let it go, even if just for a season as you go through this process. So I pray, Lord, that you will give her the discipline in this area to know what it is that she needs to cut out from her diet, what she needs to include in her diet, and that um, things that people have been telling you that you should be eating or drinking, not like witchcraft things, but things that people say, oh, you should eat that, that's healthy, or people been telling you over and over to incorporate more in your diet, start to incorporate those things in your diet. Um, and I pray that the Lord will confirm that over the course of this week, the things that you need to start eating, if it's sea moss, whatever it is, that people say, oh, you should try this, you should try this, you should try this. 
um, those things that that you need to start incorporating in your, in your diet and the things that you need to let go of. And um, this whole feeling of nausea, I pray that you will be released from this in the name of Jesus, that you will have energy like so much energy all of a sudden you you never had this much energy before in your life so i pray that god will bless you with energy to do um so much of the things that you want to do but you haven't been able to because you just feel like you just feel so tired all the time or you just feel like you just can't you don't have the energy to do it you don't have the energy to press into the next level because you just don't have the physical energy and so i pray that he blesses you with energy um and guides your footsteps i pray over the words that you speak, that you speak good things over yourself, speak good things over your body. It doesn't matter what people say about you, but you continue to speak good things over your body. Continue to speak God's promises over your body. Continue to speak God. Like when you read the word of the Lord, read it out loud. And have when you listen to the Bible app, play the Bible app because you need to saturate yourself with the word of God. You need to saturate yourself with positive things. And so I pray that God would bless you, that you will be in good health, and that everything that he promised you will come to pass. Amen. So I should say, I don't have a request per se, but I always welcome prayer. Um, I check Facebook. Sammy, I'm going to hop on Zoom to pray for you. Thank you, LaVon. So Corel, pray for you breakthrough for some things I've been praying for, God's direction with them, calm my anxiety about next steps. Lord, we thank you for your daughter, Corel. I pray to Heavenly Father that you would allow, you would just calm her mind over the things that are coming up, things that you're adding onto her plate, Heavenly Father, the opportunities that may be coming her way. I know she hears voices all the time. If you should do this and you should do that and you should do this and you should do that. And sometimes it's so hard to decipher what is from you and what is not of you. What is good? What is God and not just good? And so Lord, I pray that you would allow her to be able to discern what it is that she should do in this season. And I, Karel, I need you to, to know and remember that you, you have a, a long life ahead of you. You don't have to do everything all at once because you have, you're gonna have a long life. And at one point in your life, the things that you're gonna want to do, you're gonna be in that position where other people do the legwork. It could be your idea. You could put the framework in place, but there are gonna be other people who do everything that you do now. They're gonna be a lot of different people like that on your team or in your company where you won't have to do all of the things that you do now. And so I pray for you as you run this race. I pray that God tells you which ideas to part, which ideas to run and pursue. And I, I know sometimes you have a burden for other people. So, you know, they may have a great story and you want to help to be their voice. And I pray that you, you know, first of all, that you are the voice of the Lord. And so you, you speak what the Lord said to speak. And so don't carry that burden anymore of being the voice of others and getting, and being their voice to get their story out. But instead, folk channel your work into, let me get the Lord's word out. Let me get the Lord's messaging out. And I think that would change everything for you and make everything more plain to you. Um, I pray that you would reconnect with Devon Franklin. Um, I don't know what that looks like, but I pray that y'all reconnect, um, you know, and, um, you know, let him know what you've been doing. Um, show him the work that you've been doing and put together your portfolio, all the clips that you have, put them together and, you know, really put a professional presentation together to say, hey, I want you to see what I have going on. And I pray that doors will open for you. And, um, you know, even as we suffer a loss in the Bahamas, because of your move, I pray that God would bless you phenomenally, abundantly above anything we could ever think for you, anything you could ever dream. I pray that God blesses you wherever you plant your feet, that that will be solid ground. I pray that when God pulls you up from where you are now, that you will be able to stand on footed. I pray for a fully funded apartment. I pray for fully funded everything, that everything is fully funded. Your transportation, everything is fully funded, that you don't have to worry about a thing in the next level of your life, in the next stage of your life. I pray that he will continue to keep your hands clean 
that you would have a clean hands and pure heart, that you could go before anyone and know that I have done the works of the Lord. I have walked righteously before the Lord. And though I have felt slain in so many different areas of my life, I can hold my hands up and say my hands are clean. My hands are clean. My heart is pure. I have done the work of the Lord. And I pray that I will be your aim for the rest of your life to continue to do the work of the Lord, to be the mouthpiece of the Lord and to put out material that honors the Lord. Um, and I pray that that grants you all of your heart's desires and all the blessings of your heart. Amen. Amen. Danny, I see that you're requesting prayer. I prayed for you. I prayed for you. So when you watch the replay, go back because I did pray for you. You're one of the first people I prayed for. Okay. And see, Sasha asks, I'll pray. And then um, I'll let LaVon pray. Lord, I pray for your daughter, Sasha. I pray for the robes that you have prepared for her, Lord. I pray for the mantle that has been placed upon her shoulders. I pray, oh God, for the rooms that she will enter into, the hotel rooms for clients, the backstage, the stages, the uh, aircrafts, the limousines, the homes, the Heavenly Father, wherever it is that she will plant her feet, even restaurants that she goes into. I pray that every place that she steps foot will be declared blessed because of her presence, oh God. I pray that here will come a person where you touch the hem of their garment and people will be healed, that her faith in you just expounds in such a way that she will begin to see supernatural moves of God, that healing will flow through her, that she will walk past people and they be healed of all infirmities, even things that people say are incurable, even things that doctors are, are spending thousands upon thousands of millions of dollars to try to solve, that her presence in that place through, and the Holy Spirit working through her is able to heal people. I pray that you bless her with crazy faith, phenomenal faith, that you will just blow her mind and just take her to new levels in you, God. And I pray that you expound her mind to receive this level of faith that you are calling her to, the way that she needs to believe in you, dear God. I pray that she is able to believe in you in that way. I pray that you strengthen her for the task ahead to Heavenly Father. I pray that as she uses her hands on people, dear Lord, that they feel just such a peace in them, dear Lord, that she speaks to them and ministers to them, even when she is silent, that they feel such a peace in her presence, Lord. And I pray that they'll affirm her by telling her, I feel so much peace. I feel so much peace whenever you're in the room. Lord, I pray for her clients. I pray that you'll begin to align her with clients who, who need the word of God and also women of God, Lord. Women of God who operate with integrity, women of God who, who um, use their money wisely, dear God. Women of God who can teach her things in faith. Women of God who aren't um, one way behind the scenes and one way in public. Women of God who just are operating in that level of faith that she needs to get to, that she'll continue to send her these women, dear God, that she will minister to. And I pray that you would enter into deeper relationships, even with these women, that they may be clients in the beginning, but these women help you in your journey. I pray, oh God, that you will meet her need in terms of food and provision, as she will never go hungry unless she's fasting, dear Lord, but that you will always have food in her house. 
I pray, Lord, that you continue to give her strategies for teaching her daughter the word of God, and that she will implement those same strategies that she's using for other people, dear God, that she is in the training ground right now, dear God, and I pray that you continue to bless her and keep her, that you keep her mind in perfect peace, dear God. I pray for her hair follicles, dear God, and I pray that you will rejuvenate everything that she has lost, everything that she feels that she may be losing, everything that may seem compounded in her mind, oh God. I pray that you would eliminate that stress, dear God, and rejuvenate her in every way, rejuvenate her in every way. I pray that she will see herself in the way that you see her, dear God, that you see her as a jewel lacking no good, no, no good thing is she lacking, dear God, that she is cut perfectly on every single side like a beautiful diamond in your hand and I pray to Heavenly Father that you continue to minister oh God that you place your hand upon her head dear Lord that you place your hand upon her head dear God and every single time she needs your affirmation you 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 oh God give her the affirmation that she needs to Heavenly Father where she may feel orphaned in the spirit oh God you let her know that no you will never orphan you are my child I take care of you as you continue to declare the word over her, oh God. I pray that she feels your presence each and every single day, that she feels so loved by you. And as she goes and to celebrate a new year of life, I pray, Lord God, that she will grow deeper in you like never before, that this year will just blow her mind. And I see like, like these waves like this. And I feel it's just like, it's like peaceful waves, like, um, it's like very calming, like it's just like very, very calming waves. And I pray like that is what everyone would feel even now, just feeling that radiation of peace, the peace of the Lord just radiating over you even now, the peace of the Lord just radiating over you even now. And I thank you and Sasha, you know that you carry that peace with you. Don't abuse um, what the Lord is doing in your life. Take everything to heart. Um, you know, use everything with purity and continue to enter those rooms and to know that because I am here, something is going to break. Because I am here, a change is going to take place. Walk in your authority and knowing who you are as a woman of God, as a woman of God and as a child of God, as a child of God. Amen. Workplace conflict. Lord, we pray for those who may be experiencing workplace conflict um, and difficulties with bosses, colleagues. I pray, Lord, that you would um, provide godly strategies for the conflict. And I pray also, Chana, that you see um, you see things in the spirit of what is taking place in the natural. And that you continue to fight spiritually and know that this is all spiritual. This is nothing personal against you, um, nothing personal against um, your work ethic or your personality or anything like that, but it is all spiritual and to be strengthened and to put on your armor and to continue to fight um, with the word of the Lord against the situation. Continue to walk in with the blessing, giving your good day, your good morning, even if people don't answer you, but declaring blessings over the people that you encounter on a day-to-day -day basis. God will vindicate you in ways that you cannot even imagine and catapult you to the areas and the places that you need to be in. I pray for your voice. Um, I pray for your influence. And I pray that you won't shrink, that you would um, be bold in what it is that you have to say, respectful, but bold in what is right and calling out what is right and doing what is right by the customers and by um, corporate leaders. And even though some people around you are in management, may be doing the wrong thing or they may not be operating even with, within company standards, but that you set a holy and a godly standard. Um, there's a thing like with with um with laws where one law may not be that strict and then you have another that's more strict and so you follow the more strict law and a, and a lot of different situations that you're going to answer into your faith is the more strict law what the word of the lord tells you to do is more strict than the policies on the books and so you operate in what the word of the lord is saying to you 
and not necessarily by their policies. So just continue to walk in that and be bold. Asking for prayers for my son's 100% scholarships and allowances. We pray for you, Nicole. Um, I pray that your sons will have um, a full ride to university. I pray that they continue to make great connections while in school um, for their next level. And even where they like, I, I want you not to be afraid for your children to face challenges because some of the challenges that they're gonna face, they need to be men. And so even if your son has to take on a job, a part-time job, don't, don't be upset about any challenges that your son has to take on in his journey because this is his journey. And a little bit of struggle may be a part of his journey because the things that needs to be pressed in him and the lessons that he needs to learn come through that process. And so I pray that, I pray for the scholarships. I pray for the way to be easy, but I also pray that as his mother, that you would allow the Lord to take him through this next chapter of his life and that you continue to pray, Lord, your will be done. Lord, your will be done. Please bless my child. Please, and you just trust that you, you and your husband have planted in these children such excellent seeds that they can only bring forth fruit. They can only bring forth fruit, Nicole. The seeds you have planted can only bring forth fruit. You did not plant weeds in your children. You did not plant parasites in your children. You planted fruit trees. You can only expect a harvest of fruit. And so trust that what you planted in your sons will bring forth fruit. But also remember that the Lord is Lord over their lives and their journey is their journey. And so we pray for sustenance. I pray for God to make a way for both you and your husband financially, that you are blessed such so abundantly that you are able to do whatever it is that you may need to do. But I also pray that you get people who pay for tickets home. People just come up to you and say, I wanna pay for your son's ticket home. I wanna give your son a summer, time, a summer job. He doesn't even have to look and, and do all that searching for a summer job where people say, oh, I wanna bless your son this month with money. I wanna cover your son's rent for the whole year. I pray that you continue to have those people come and your son sees it, not just you see the hand of the Lord, but your son sees how he has been provided for every step of the way because he is learning to trust in the Lord. And so even if things may seem like it's not coming together that you trust that the Lord is Lord in the situation and you will not lack, your son will not lack. And everything that he goes through in Christ Jesus is for his good. Amen. Amen. But we will continue to pray and we will continue to pray, Nicole. We will continue to pray. And I pray for those people to rise up in your life and rise up in his life. It's people in his life you have no idea of who wants to help as well. And so we pray for that. And um, okay, so it's 833, I'm gonna let Nicole pray and we're gonna close. I really wanna do prayer more often. I don't know how I can make that possible, but I, I really, I'm starting to feel that, um, but I'll, I'll see how we can make that more possible to have more um, prophetic declarations and prayer, more open Bible studies, um, you know, just, just to see how we can make that more possible. Amen. LaVon. I'm driving, so I hope you, you can hear me, but I was just praying casually, you know, as we were praying for the women, Lord covers at me. Uh, let everything she's praying, you know, just a gentle prayer. Well, then the Holy Spirit put me in. He was like, everything she's praying over the, you know, and he said, no, I want you to speak it back over her. So I'm trying, I'm going to let the Holy Spirit use me for all the prayers that you said, that he wants me to speak it back over you. He wants me to speak strength back over you. He wants me to speak comfort 
over you. All the prayers that you have prayed over this women, these women this morning, God said, it is also your portion. He cares for you. He said, um, funding, all the funding fruit you will bear much fruit all the community all the healthiness he said he's he has and um your cry about your health and your body god says i hear you and i'm gonna touch me with and has them and he's gonna answer them i hear god saying he's gonna adjust your crown that people think that they see the favor of god on your life but they haven't seen anything yet that there is a next level i hear the lord saying that he is bringing you into a deeper level in him a deeper level of praise and worship in him and when you finally release the, the intimacy that you've been having with the lord it is going to explode it is going to touch women it is going to touch families it is going to touch entrepreneurs but right now it is between you and god i hear god saying it's something that y'all doing in the secret and i i wasn't even calling it something in the secret that when it's birthed out it's gonna be big and then i'm saying um the peace that you was praying that he gives you peace he wants to give you peace everything that you spoke out i don't remember all of them but i know he said i want you to speak it let her hear it in her spirit that it is her portion and that she is about to birth much fruit much fruit and that fine as the mercy water flowing at your feet when I you cut out just now. because God said, I'm going to give her so much opportunities. But one thing he was telling me about these weeks is that we don't want we want to make sure we're not blindsided because the enemy comes like a camouflage sometimes so that your eyes are open to every opportunity and you are aware when the enemy is now doing a lot of movements in your life and that you have the wisdom to operate like an Abigail. You have the wisdom to operate like a Proverbs 31. And woman who have husband and her children rise up and call her blessed. That is what I hear the Lord saying this morning, that I am pleased and he is gonna pop all that you can ask or think. I believe you prayed that over someone. So everything that you spoke, that's all I was supposed to come on and do. Everything that you've been speaking over the woman, I speak it back over you. Health, long life, comfort, any place you're mourning and you pray for me in sadness, any place you may have sadness and any, any doors you want open, anything that nobody will steal your ideas nobody will put your words in their books that your your thoughts and your plans and your witty inventions are covered by god and that god right now is putting a copyright on them in the spirit realm that people be coming keeping Speaking, trying to say they could do it. Nobody could do a duplicate of what God has given you. Not because I said it, but not my not copy written on earth, but it's on them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Levon, where are you located again? I'm in Georgia. Okay. Um, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. I needed that. <laughs> Um, I thank you everyone for joining today. Um, I really, really appreciate it. We are fasting only water. Um, I have two announcements. So next month, um, the fifth falls on a Sunday and the fifth falls on a Sunday. So we're still going to meet at, um, 7 AM, but we won't have the evening message. Instead, our 7 a.m. will be testimonies, testimonies. So already there are some people who are pregnant 
the people who are pregnant, you still are too early to publicly declare on this platform that you're pregnant. So do not come on testimony um, day and say I'm pregnant. Okay, still too early. So I'm telling you that now. But some people are pregnant. I want you in the room. Um, and you can say something else because there are other things as well that happened where you have a testimony. And so next month is the seventh, it's the fifth at 7 a.m. Let's share our testimonies, the breakthroughs that we've experienced. Um, you know, just have that outpouring. It will be so refreshing for the people who have prayed um, for you over the course of these um, five months. Um, to hear your testimonies. It builds us all up in the faith. I love to hear how the Lord came through for somebody because it builds my faith. Um, even when I wasn't involved, just so I make that clear. Um, secondly, we do have a fundraiser launching today. I'm gonna drop the details in the Facebook group. We have a fundraiser launching. Um, it's beautiful that LaVon prayed today because I'm clinging to her prayer from Focus Fast when she said that I can keep focus fast free, even when I make it face to face. And so we do have a fundraiser that we're launching for focus fast to make sure that we do it in excellence and that you don't have to pay a dime, not a single dime for focus fast. Okay. And so that fundraiser will launch today and hopefully we can raise the funds that we need. So that even as a planning team, we have a stress-free process I'm also planning Galentine Vibes, which is ticketed. It's a whole different level of stress. And so we don't want to experience that because I don't want to be worrying how bills going to be paid while someone is preaching or teaching. I just want to be like, oh God, you're so good. You're so, like, just like the whole weekend along with no worries. And so, um, you know, when we press that burden across all of us, um, it's, it's so much easier to carry. So whatever you can give, $5, $1, up to whatever your max is, you know, we would appreciate it and we thank you for it. Um, and the the it's gonna the link is gonna be open for a while. So whenever you have it, you can do it. Don't pull from this. Don't pull from Peter to pay Paul to pay us. Um, you know, don't do that at all. Just you know, um, as the Lord leads you, we'll still be here next month when you have a little bit of extra overflow. Um, so don't feel pressured at all. But I thank you all for joining. Um, I have a, some people some people I'm gonna touch bases with after this call. But have a blessed day. May you flourish in every good thing. And I'm going to memorize this thing so I can declare these blessings over you guys all the time. So love you all. Bye. I'm going to stop sharing. And have a great day.